Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can enhance and brighten the eyes in your portrait photos using Photoshop. And I'm gonna start right now. Right guys, so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and choose a photo. And today's photo is going to be this photo where I have already enhanced the skin. And if you want to learn how I've got to this point, then just simply go ahead and watch my previous episode. But today we are focusing all on the eyes, how to enhance them, how to brighten them, and how to make them really pop in your photos. And I've got very few quick tips on to really make them look amazing, but in a natural way. We don't want to overly enhance them because then they'll look fake. And I know is quite a few YouTube tutorials end up looking incredibly unnatural. So today we're just going to focus on how to create a natural look. So what we want to do firstly is go ahead and zoom in and just to make this tutorial nice and short I'm just going to be focusing on one eye in this particular tutorial and obviously you can just duplicate everything we've done to both of them if they are both in shot and in focus. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and zoom in and as you can see this eye is crystal sharp and I'm really happy with the results. Again did shoot with a quite high aperture and it ended up looking really really good so I'm really happy with this photo. So what we need to do firstly is we want to go ahead and create two curves adjustment layers. So what I'm going to do is going to go down to our adjustment layers icon found in the bottom right hand corner and I'm going to go ahead and choose curves. Now the first curves is going to be our dodge layout. So we want to overall brighten that photo. So we're going to take our middle uh, mid tones in the middle of our curves adjustment layer histogram, and we're going to go ahead and drag that up, not too far, just enough like so, just so the overall iris area is nice and bright. Now what we want to do is we want to go to that layer mask that you can find here. That's the white square. And we want to invert the color from white to black. So I'm going to press Command I on our keyboard. And as you can see, the photo has returned to its original exposure. And what we want to do is go into this and we're going to double click and we want to rename this Dodge. Just so when we go back, we know what layer is what. And we want to do exactly the same, but this time we're going to add a burn layer to it. So we're going to go down to our adjustment layers again, guys, and we're going to go ahead and select curves again. But this time we're going to darken the photo. So we're going to take our middle part of our histogram and we're going to drag that downwards. And again, guys, what we're going to do is again, same as the previous one, we're going to invert it from white to black. So that will reveal to conceal that layer. And then we're going to name this, instead of naming it Dodge, we're going to name it Burn here. So, so far, you should have three layers, your background layer, a layer called Dodge, which has been hidden, but brightens the photo, and a layer called Burn, that actually is hidden, but darkens the photo. Lovely. So let's go ahead and work on the Brighten layer first. So let's go to our dodge layer. Right, so what we want to do is zoom in, making sure we've got white selected as our foreground color. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're gonna go ahead and choose the brush tool. So go ahead and select the brush tool like so. Now in our properties at the top here, you can have your blending mode as normal, your opacity at 100%, and I'd recommend have your flow quite low. So in this particular case, I've got my flow at 10% here. And what you want to do is zoom in quite far. So we're actually zoomed in almost 600%. And I'm going to make a nice, small, but very soft brush. So the hardness is at zero. And I've actually got a pixel radius of around about 10 pixels there. And what you want to do is just imagine that the actual center of the eye, you've got a dot and you want to draw outwards. So if I go ahead and draw a quick layer of what I mean, what I'm going to do is just increase my flow again. Just imagine that you've got, let's choose a different color in this particular case, choose orange. We want to draw a letter circle here and let's say we've got the outside of the iris. We want to draw these arrows as you can see here. So we want to draw in this direction. So from the center of the eye and we want to draw it outwards. So again, center of the eye, draw it outwards. So let's go to that burn layer here, making sure I've turned my flow back down to around 10%. You want to draw outwards of the eye. And because you've got your flow down or turned down quite low, it's going to take a little bit of time to get that effect applied. Now, obviously you don't want to overdo it, but you can obviously turn the blending mode over if you want to, or you can even turn the opacity. So just go over it several times with your brush. Of course, you can change the size of your brush at any time. Uh, I'm probably gonna add, change my brush in a second to add a little bit of smaller lines, but this will add a little bit more of a texture 
to the colored part of the eye. So just take me a little bit of time, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. Lovely, so now I have applied the dodge layer, we need to go ahead and apply the burn layer, and it's pretty much the exact same premise. So you can keep all of your brush settings the same. All you'll need to do now is just make sure you go from your dodge layer, and we're gonna to go to our burn layer mask that you can see here. So all we want to do now is pretty much the same, but instead of doing the entire section of the eye, we just want to do near the top section. So you can see where the shadow is here, we just want to overall enhance this area, and we can darken it using that blending mode that we've got applied already. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do exactly the same, so follow this premise, we want to draw from the center outwards. What we're gonna do is make sure that layer is selected, and we're gonna go ahead and drag outwards. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to apply a burn area just to the shadows here. And what this will do is it will add a natural amount of contrast, but in the way of applying it as a texture. And it must say it works really, really nicely when done properly. So I'm just gonna go and spend a little bit of time and just adding in a good amount of contrast by doing dodging and burning. Lovely, so as you can see, I have now added to the dodge layer and the burn layer. And you can actually go ahead and have a look at your layer mask. If you go ahead and hold Option or Alt on your keyboard and actually click on that layer mask. So as you can see, these are the stroke patterns we've added to the dodge layer and these are the stroke patterns we have added to the burn layer. So all together, if I show you just the before and after now, so if we do the before and we do the after, as you can see, we've added a really nice amount of contrast texture to that eye, but we are not done just yet. We've got two more effects that I want to quickly show you. Now, obviously this really does depend on what photo, but in this particular case, you can see there are quite a lot of red veins and there is a decent amount of yellowness to the white section of the eye. So what you can always do is add a black and white layer just to reduce the amount of other colors within that white section. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to our adjustment layers icon I'm gonna go ahead and choose the black and white layer. Now obviously, we don't wanna turn it to black and white, so what I'm going to do is gonna to go to our opacity here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that down to around about, let's go for about 35%. And again, what we want to do is invert that layer mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and press Command-I on our keyboard. And again, very similar, increase the flow this time, so I'm gonna increase the flow to 100%. Go to your brush tool, make it a little bit larger, and we just want to paint over the white section of the eye. And you could do this by turning the actual uh, opacity all the way up to 100% so you can see the exact area where you want to paint. And obviously what we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce the opacity later on to make it a lot, lot more natural because obviously we don't want that section of the area to be black and white because it looks absolutely terrible and not realistic whatsoever. So we just need to make sure that roughly all of it is covered. It is not completely important that all of it is, but just covering most of that vein section. So as you can see, we have done that now. So, so what we can do now is just simply drop the opacity to 0% and then increase it until you are happy with the reduction in other colors. So I think in this particular case, around about 30% works best. Now obviously you can increase it and decrease it depending on your photo. But if I quickly show you the before and after, overall it's just brought a little bit more white out to that area and as you can see it looks really really good so far again working in subtle increments makes a larger difference than you go ahead and whole hog and end up ruining the photo so subtle changes can really add a difference and there's just one more effect i want to add in and this is to add a little bit more drama and add a little bit more contrast to it and what we can do is actually add in a specific layer so we're going to go ahead and add in a brand new layer so i'm going to go ahead and add a brand new layer like so and with our brush tool, so we go ahead and select brush tool on the left hand side, let's go ahead and choose completely white. And let's go ahead and turn the flow down to around 50%. Now what I want to do is make a nice soft brush. We just want to add in a decent amount, like a half moon shape to the white part of the eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a half moon like so. So go ahead, so add an effect that looks similar to this. Now obviously, it looks completely fake. So what we need to do is just simply change the opacity and blending mode. So I'm gonna to go to our opacity first. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and drop this down to around about 75%. Then let's go and change the blending mode of this, and I'm gonna drop it down to overlay. Now obviously it's still looking a little bit strong, so what I recommend doing is going to opacity again and just reducing it until it is just there, but nice and subtle. So I'm gonna go for around about 40% in this particular photo, but it trend it might change. So what I can do now is actually show you the full before and after. So if I do the before and I do the after, we have added in a dramatic amount of difference, a nice amount of contrast. And I must say, I'm really, really liking the look and texture of the eyes. And that's by using the dodge and burn layer and also using that top layer that you can see here that just adds a little bit of brightness just to the bottom to kind of contrast the shadows that you can see at the top section of the eye. And I must say, overall, it looks absolutely amazing. It makes the eyes really pop in this photo. So again, guys, if I do the full before and after, I'm really liking this effect. Brilliant, and there we go, guys. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about Photoshop, Lightroom, and everything photography related, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you guys don't miss anything. Now, if you want to learn more about portrait retouching, I've got a playlist available just up here. Or if you're in a bit of a rush and you wanna watch my two minute tutorials, I've got the playlist just down here. But until next time, guys, keep creating.